1929, my grandparents, Hilly and Thurston, started Eagle Brook's candle lighting ceremony. Hilly organized the boys. They made all the decorations, cut evergreen branches that they shaped into wreaths to decorate the doors and windows and trim the boughs of fir to mix with red candles over the fireplace. Thurston invited his father, my great-grandfather, named Cornelius Thurston Chase, and a congregational minister to give a Christmas candle lighting vespers on the Sunday before vacation. Great-grandfather Chase, who had a voice so loud that it could be heard in the back row of his church, told the Christmas story, wise men, a baby in a manger, sang carols with the boys. Then the ceremony began. He lit a single large candle and speaking words from a favorite poem said, as one light lights another, nor grows less, so nobleness can kindle nobleness. A trombone began to play. One by one, the boys lit their candles from his singing Adeste Fidelis. They moved into the night, candles blowing. They stood in front of the lodge where they waited for his benediction. Each year before the Christmas holiday, great-grandfather Chase returned to Eagle Brook to lead the school in candle lighting. Students loved this ritual. His booming voice, the music, the mystical flickering candles. After his death in the 1940s, candle lighting continued, led by my grandfather, then my father, and now me. Little has changed. There is magic in a little light shining in the dark. Then that light spreading to others, growing, combining, expanding, until the light from that one light fills the room with warmth and comfort. All around the world, throughout the ages, people have been drawn to that solitary glow of a single flame. It speaks without a voice. It has no boundaries. For some, a whisper on a dark winter evening, spring will come. For some, a reminder when sad, there will be joy ahead. I like to think the light we share tonight is a light of kindness, that we, one by one, will take our light from here that we will spread its light, our kindness, into wherever in the world we are this vacation. As one light lights another, nor grows less, so nobleness enkindles nobleness.
quiet, the earth pauses to rest. The moon takes the place of the sun, and we pause to reflect. In the dark, we slow down, we repair, we give our bodies and our minds a break from the tugs and trials of our daily lives. In the dark, we turn inward, we turn off, we wait. In the dark, fear and sadness may be able to find us more easily as we wait. And yet there is also comfort in the dark that holds us in its embrace until the light returns. When the light comes, the energy, the warmth, we are drawn back to action, the buzz of activity calls on us to join in, to be part of the hustle and bustle of life. We are challenged to charge ahead. In light, we find courage to reach out past our fears and manage our sadness. The light urges us to look forward, to aspire, to hope. In the balance of light and dark, of sound and silence, we seek to discern our purpose. We seek opportunities to be our most complete selves, people who reach beyond our own needs and desires, people of compassion, people who believe in fairness and justice, people who know how to love and what it means to be loved. Lord, we ask that you bless us in this place. Grant us the strength and courage to face the light and the dark, the sounds and the silence. Guide us as we find our way and support us when we stumble. Help us to be mindful that in our good fortune, we act as loving neighbors to all. Make us grateful of the abundance in our life and careful stewards of the resources you offer. And above all, help us to remember that with your love, we can find our way in light, in dark, toward peace and joy. Amen. Amen. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.